Get ready for the next challenge in space. Some well-known investors want to send robots to land on asteroids and find precious metals. As Jim Axelrod reports, it will be very risky, extremely expensive, but none of that is stopping them. Space tourism pioneers Eric Anderson and Peter Diamandis live by the idea that the future is now. This company is not about thinking and dreaming about asteroid mining. This company is about creating a space economy beyond the Earth. And as far as they're concerned, mining asteroids in space is soon to be fact. The two men, backed by wealthy investors like Google CEO Larry Page and filmmaker James Cameron, say asteroids offer rich sources of metals like platinum, which go for $1,500 an ounce. This is smart money investing in one of the largest commercial opportunities ever, going to space to gain resources for the benefit of humanity. Within two years, the men want their company, Planetary Resources, to launch up to five telescopes for close looks at the 9,000 asteroids orbiting near Earth. Asteroids also contain elements like hydrogen and oxygen needed as man moves deeper into space. They're like ways to live off the land as we explore the solar system. Denton Ebo is a geologist at the Museum of Natural History in New York. Our future in space is going to be depend upon using the resources that are there. They hope to launch spacecrafts called ARCHIDs for prospecting by 2020. They're more vague on when their robots would begin the actual mining. There's a significant probability that we may fail. But we believe in it anyway because we believe that attempting this and moving the needle for space is worth, worth it. Having already raised the money they say they need to get started, the two now say they're hiring. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.